Hi, my name's Steve Zoney. I'm doing this video from Cornwall in the United Kingdom. It's, uh, it's about quarter past, well, it's about 20 past half past one in the morning. It's Sunday. So it's the 15th. Uh, I've been thinking about a video to make and couldn't find the moment or the inspiration or whatever. And uh, and all of a sudden it all just slotted together. One o'clock in the morning. I started doing ding, 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 ding on the computer and I've put the list of videos together. So what am I going to call this video? I'm going to call it something like uh, John Kerry and uh, how to throw an election or how to steal an election or how to overlook the theft of an election. Because I, I might have mentioned this before but John Kerry was an observer to the Kenyan elections in 2017. He was an international observer and uh, he was invited by somebody I don't know who. He wasn't a representative of Donald Trump I don't think but he was an international observer along with other people and I'm going to put the first video is 2016 so he's still working for Obama, he's part of the Obama government and he goes to Kenya to tell them how important it is to have fair elections and he gives his speech you know and you've got to remember Kenya is Obama, his father's Kenyan so you think, oh, it's a personal interest. Obama would want fair elections, wouldn't he? Being that his father's Kenyan and blah, blah, blah and all that. Well, the reason why America took an interest in Kenya is because China was taking an interest in Kenya, as China is with all countries. And it wants to keep its influence because America's influence in the world is totally collapsing. And Trump's trying to fight that, which is another story. But China, with money, the aid of money, is moving into third world countries. And it's using its money and it's getting a it's getting a what you call a bang for its book. Whereas America like just wants to sell arms, China will sell anything to any country with debt you know you don't get something for nothing with China same with America you don't get something for nothing you buy its military equipment on debt whereas China will send you sell you farming equipment it'll build you a port it'll build you railways so it can so that you have access to the minerals in country it'll build a port it'll build railways railways ship the minerals it'll it'll develop mines It'll develop mining facilities on debt that will benefit China. And then the resources go on the railway track that they finance, loaded on ships at the port that they've financed, and then them resources are shipped to China. So you could say that Obama was trying to balance that influence by sending Kerry, you know, fair, you know, you need fair elections, and he's giving his speech in his first video. So I'm setting you the history of it. But then we go to the election. Well, the election, the second video, John Kerry says it went well. It went really, 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 really well. And I'm pleased at the honesty in these elections. Because you've got to remember, technically, when we say Kenya, when we say Africa, we think third world. Because that is imprinted in us. In my last video, I talked about mind control. Well, part of mind control is that we see Africa as this third world country that needs our help. It needs the help, the technical help of the West, of Europe, France, United Kingdom, Germany, America. And so we see it as a third world country. So when we think, oh yeah, voting and all that, yeah, yeah, they need our help. Because they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to vote. They don't know how to work a democracy. So President uh, John Kerry is there after the election and he's saying, yeah, it went well. 
Hey, fuck, he's spot on, can you? He wasn't. He was riddled with fraud because it was the electronic voting machines. What did I say in my other video, a few, few videos ago? And I've talked about it for years and years and years. The Diabold voting machines are actually built so that they can be accessed and hacked and the votes can be changed. And I told you in a video, a couple of videos ago, go watch the video, Hacking Democracy. And in that video, you actually see that John Kerry knew that he had won the 2004 election against George Bush. He knew it. All he's, he's actually explained in the documentary that his staffers knew it. Everyone knew it. He'd won it. And he just went like that. Yeah, George Bush has won. I'm not going to contest it. And it was like, all his staffers were like that. What the fuck? Because they just fought hard to win the election, and he did win it. But the electronic voting machines came into play again, as they did with the 2000 election, and they changed results. Ding, 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 ding. Somebody at a computer, a keyboard, changed the results. So, it is what it is. The documentary shows it you. But then years later, in 2017, those same machines are being used in Kenya. And John Kerry said, yeah, everything's fine. Well, what happened? It goes to court in Kenya. It went to the it went to the Supreme Court of Kenya, the High Court, the High Court, not the Supreme Court, because they have a an English judicial system. They have the red robes and everything. Go watch the video. Go look at the third video, and you see the court. You see this third world, supposed third world country. A high court judge say the election was illegal. It was wrong. There was corruption. There was malpractice. There was fraudulent behaviour from the Diabold, American Diabold, voting machines. There is evidence that there was fraud. And this so-called third world high court judge, you see them all lined up. They're all sat there in the video. And he says, I am... I am saying, and what he ruled was, that the election was overturned. And it was actually the president that won. So he was going against the president. And he said no. And he had the power to do it. And he overturned the election and he said a new election needs to be done within 60 days. That was the power of a supposed third world country high court assembly of judges look at the chaos we've got in America now look at the lying, the deceit the malpractice the venom and yet there's this so called third world judge showing how it should be done and can be done and could be done now I don't even know what the result was in the election after that because I took notice of this because this is one of those things that I took notice of at the time because it was meant to so that I can talk about it now. That's how God works. Moments of now. Connecting things. But it is an example of the deceit of John Kerry. Who shit on Democrat voters. He shit on Democrat voters as did uh, Al Gore. Now, in a video previous to this, I've talked about how it was okay for the Republicans. The Republicans loved it that they was cheating because it was their president. Now we have the situation where Democrats love cheating in a presidential election because it's, their, it's going to be their president, Biden. But Trump's not a Republican man, is he? I've told you Trump is a new force in politics. He just, he just has the Republican flag because he didn't make the same mistake as uh, the other independents who stood. The little bleeder, what was his name? Because independents can't win. So what he did was he went through the Republican Party, went through the process of the primaries and he won them against all expectations. So he now flies the Republican flag. But Trump is a new force and the Democrats want him out and the old guard Republicans want him out. Some of them are actually now realising, yeah, let's go with Trump, which then means they're going with the new force in politics. 
Who is this new force? Well, we don't know yet, do we? It's a secret. We know who's supporting the Democrats and old guard Republicans because it's obvious by the contributions. That the big tech companies. Google. YouTube. Uh, Twitter. Looking Zuckerberg. I heard a brilliant comment today about Zuckerberg, how he is forcing with legal teams, he's forcing indigenous Hawaiians to sell their land to him. He's building this whole huge property in Hawaii and that's his doomsday fucking bug out place. So when America starts burning, you know like South, uh, the Simpsons, when the uh, town goes, they all start writing with the pitchforks and it's all burning and everything in the writing. Well, Zuckerberg's got this huge place in Hawaii and he's forcing people to sell their land to expand it, to give distance from between. He's even building a huge fucking wall around it, miles and miles and miles long. He's got it all cornered, he knows what he's doing. So, but you can see that they're the backers of the old politics, but we don't know who knew the new forces yet that he's behind Trump. Trump's a puppet, just like Biden, just like Al Gore, just like Bush, just like Clinton. He's a puppet, but we don't know who his masters are yet. I've got an idea. I might talk about it when it's all when it all quiets down. So go and have a glimpse at these videos, but look at John Kerry and look at the third one where you see a high court in action. This is how it can be done, and it could be done. But we're not going to see that in America, are we? No. We're probably we're going to end up seeing people dead on the street. There's going to be deaths. When it finally gets resolved, there's going to be an eruption of anger. Either way. And we're going to see people dying, but that is what it is. You can't change the future. You can't Listen, we are now here on Sunday, the what? Sunday morning, so by the time this goes up, it'll still be Sunday, because it takes me hours to upload. But uh, we're here now on the, what, 13th, 15th of November. In the future, the future's coming. We can't stop it. And there are people that are going to die. They are walking the streets now, and they do not know that they are going to die because of this fraud and this... This corruption that's been allowed to fester in the United States, in the political system. And all Donald Trump's done is stir the pot. If Donald Trump had never come along, this corruption would have still have been there. And the Republicans and Democrats would have shared their power. Because now we would be uh, in this, going into the second term of Hillary Clinton. We would now be going into the second term of Hillary Clinton if... Donald Trump had not come along, the joke that he was to the media and to all the political forces, the old Republican, the Republican guard, the Democratic guard, Hillary Clinton, he was a joke. And they, they underestimated not just Donald Trump, but the power of the new force who've worked it all out. We'd be going into the second term of Hillary Clinton, but for this new force, and yet we don't know who they are. It's not clear yet. As I say, I've got my ideas of who they are, my viewpoint. So, maybe go watch these three. Go have a look at these. You don't have to watch the first one all the way through. It's a long one. It's just John Kerry. But you get the gist of it within a few minutes. It's America lecturing to Kenya on how they need fair and democratic elections and America is there to assist them in this read the comments underneath and then the second one is John Kerry saying yeah it went really well that me and my fellow observers international observers we thought it was tremendous and the honesty and the counting processes the, the, oh, the clarity of the honesty of the counting process it was fucking brilliant Read the comments. And then the third one is the High Court judge. Say no, 
It wasn't fair. It wasn't okay, John Kerry. It was fucking riddled with fraud. And I'm fucking... I'm overturning the whole of the election. I'm taking it from the president. And I'm going to throw it back out again. And we're going to do this election again until it's honest and fair. And it's got to be done within 60 days. Now I don't know what happened. Because that's not what this is about. This is not what God wanted me to know. Oh, not to, not no, but take an interest in it. I could Google it now, but... No, the point is, it's about the corruption and the arrogance of the United States. And yet a third world, so-called third world country that doesn't know how to run its fucking processes. Did a good job.